If you've never seen this before, it's gonna sound really weird. Take the numbers 123, 504, and 110. Are these numbers divisible by 3? Well, there's a clever way of checking it. Let's try it with 123 first. The sum of its digits is 6, such that 3 divides 6. So, this implies that 3 also divides 123. Indeed, 123 divided by 3 is 41, which is an integer. For 504, the sum of its digits is 9, such that 3 divides 9. Therefore, 3 must divide 504 as well. Indeed, 504 divided by 3 is 168, which is an integer. For 110, 1 plus 1 plus 0 gives 2, and 3 does not divide 2. So we conclude that 3 does not divide 110. Indeed, 110 divided by 3 is 36.666 and so on, which is definitely not an integer. Okay, let's try to generalize this result. Theorem. Let a, b, and c be integers from 0 to 9, and let 3 divide a plus b plus c. Then, we can conclude that 3 also divides 100 times a plus 10 times b plus c, translating it into a equals 1, b equals 2, and c equals 3. We get the following. Well, 1, 2, and 3 are definitely integers from 0 to 9, and 3 does divide 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6. This implies that 3 also divides 100 times 1 plus 10 times 2 plus 3, which is 123. Let's prove this theorem, but instead of doing it directly for 3, we'll first consider a more generic version of it, for some natural number n. If you're enjoying this video, do not forget to like it and to subscribe to the channel. Also, please support us becoming a member of the channel. It really helps Sophia and I to make the best videos possible. And also, to publish more often what you guys asked us in the comment section. Theorem. Let a, b, and c be integers from 0 to 9, and let n divide a plus b plus c. Then, n must also divide 100 times a plus 10 times b plus c for some natural number n. A discussion, not a proof. We know that n divides a plus b plus c, which implies that a plus b plus c divided by n is an integer. As a consequence, we can say that a plus b plus c divided by n plus the sum of these two terms in red is an integer, if and only if this sum in red is also an integer. Before moving on, I want to ask you, why would I want to prove that? Why would I want it? Well, because if we require the sum to be an integer, we will have actually required 100 times a plus 10 times b plus c divided by n to be an integer. In other words, it requires n to divide 100 a plus 10 b plus c. Okay, so let's pick up where we left off. So, this is true if and only if 9a over n plus 9b over n is an integer. Now this implies that 9 times 11a plus b divided by n is an integer, which does not imply necessarily that n divides 9 or that n divides 11a plus b. But one of many possibilities is to impose the condition on n such that it divides 9. Again, there are many other possibilities here other than that. But in the video, we just want to focus on this one. Let's just ignore them all for the purposes of this video. But hey, if you find some interesting results out of it, let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check the PDF link in the description, where we show in detail all the proofs and calculations in this video. Remember, the only way to actually learn math is by understanding each step and then trying to reproduce it by yourself, independently. Let's get back to our result now. n equals 3 or n equals 9. Indeed, this theorem is valid only for 3 and 9 in the base 10 system, of course. Just out of curiosity, let's try it out with n equals 9. Let's start with 918. 9 plus 1 plus 8 is 18, which is divisible by 9. So we conclude that 9 divides 918. Indeed, 918 divided by 9 gives 102, which is an integer. What about 109? The sum of its digits gives us 10, which is not divisible by 9, and thus neither is 109. Indeed, 109 divided by 9 is 12.111 and so on, so not an integer. For 117, the sum is 9, which is definitely divisible by 9, and thus 9 divides 117 as well. Indeed, 117 divided by 9 is 13, so an integer. Great! What else can we do? One thing is to generalize it to a number with m digits. 
For example, consider the huge integer number with digits 3, 4, 4, 2, 0, 1, and so on, ending with 4, 4, 7, 2. Let's say the sum of its digits is divisible by some natural number n. Is it true then that n also divides the huge number itself? Let's consider another example, which is even more general than this one. Consider a huge integer number with digits a1, a2, through am, such that ai is an integer from 0 to 9, for all i from 1 to m, and consider the sum of its digits to be divisible by n. Question: Does it imply that n divides the huge number itself as well? What are the conditions on n such that this implication is valid? Try to work on finding these conditions by yourself and leave a comment about what you found out. Maybe try to do something similar to what we've done before. And also do not forget about the PDF link in the description below. It will really help you. I will show you now how I personally thought about it. If n divides the sum of its digits, then dividing each digit by n and then summing them all up results in an integer. I want to show that a1, a2 through am is divisible by n. In other words, I want to show that a1, a2 through am divided by n is an integer, which is true if and only if 10 to the power of m minus 1 times a1 plus 10 to the power of m minus 2 times a2 plus and so on until 10 to the power of 0 times am, all of it divided by n results in an integer number. In other words, I want to use the fact that the sum from i equals 1 to m of 10 to the power of m minus i over n times ai is an integer. Now, I can split the first term into a1 over n plus 10 to the power of m minus 1 minus 1 over n times a1. I can do something very similar for the second term and so on for all terms. Which is equivalent to writing the sum from 1 to m of ai over n plus all the remaining terms, which is an integer number. Now, I can rewrite these remaining terms with numerators that are numbers composed of digits of 9, as you can see in red. Since this first sum results in an integer number, all we need here is to make sure that this sum in red results in an integer number as well. We can rewrite it as the sum of 9 times a number composed only of digits of 1 over n times ai from 1 to m. So n does not necessarily divide 9, nor does it divide the second term. But one of many possibilities is to impose the condition on n such that it divides 9. Again, there are many other possibilities here, other than that. But in this video, we just want to focus on this one. We found out that it doesn't really matter how many digits an integer has. It is always true that if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3, then the number itself is also divisible by 3. And the same statement is true for 9 as well. This video was made using the help of this book. Check out the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one right here. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it. See you guys there.